Yo, what is going on guys? David here, Dave here. Welcome back to my channel. And today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make the best dual archetype for 2K18. Now, bruh, this was the hardest decision I've ever had to make in a 2K game. There was over 120 archetypes I think you can make. I don't even know, but, you know, I, I sat through it and I, you know, I really looked at the, the badges and the the attributes you can put up and i've come to a conclusion and i'm going to be making a slashing rebounder so basically what that is um your rebounding is primary and then your secondary skill is driving and finishing now first and foremost i'm just going to throw this out the window this game is going to be nothing like 2k17 okay so do not expect big men to be shooting hella threes or a lot of big men to be taking middies if you're going to be taking threes and middies then i'm pretty sure your primary position needs to be either a three-point shot or a shot curator and your secondary needs to be a three-point shot or a shot curator that's the only way big men are going to be shooting threes other than that you're not going to be seeing any center shoot threes okay now to the reasons why i made this okay first and foremost i made this because obviously if you're going to be a center you need to get rebounds okay so my primary skill is rebounding okay as you can see the rebounding is all the way up it's only two away from being maxed out also you need to have a pretty good strength my strength is only two away from being maxed out and you also have to have a good vertical and my vertical is maxed out also those are the three things that you really want to be a good center a good snagger and to make it even better look at my speed look at my acceleration <laughs> look at my lateral quickness it's so high up i can easily run around any center and box them out i can easily run for the ball get a rebound i can easily guard probably almost any archetype on the court like guys, this right here is OP. This is gonna be an overpowered center, an overpowered dual archetype. The steals and the defense is almost halfway up and that's a good thing because I already have defense and having that the steals and blocks are almost up itself, it's gonna make it so much easier for me on defense. So okay, I had the defense, I had rebounding, I had the speed, I had the acceleration, and I had the lateral quickness, so I'm already fast. Now for the offense. Look at the layups and the dunks. It's almost all the way up, okay? It's not like 2K17 where you have a layup meter. There's no layup meters in this game. So 99% of the time, a layup or a dunk is gonna go in. I can easily get a rebound and put it back up. I can easily set a screen, pick and roll all day. This dude, this archetype right here is gonna be so OP for uh, pick and roll. So if you like going playing twos, pick and roll, pick and roll every single time. It's almost guaranteed that you're gonna get to the cup. Now look at the post scoring, it's halfway up. Now personally, I don't like doing post moves at the park, especially if I'm playing twos, because the person that I'm playing with, they're either really good and they got they have my back. So uh, you know, I'm not they're not gonna just hey Dave, go down low and set this post move up and you know score on your teammate. Nah, because the person that I'm playing with is gonna be cooking up his defender and I got his back, okay? But it's still a good thing that I have post moves. It just adds to the offense. You never know if you need to post somebody up. Now the only flaw about this archetype is his shooting okay look at his middies and look at his three-point shots like I said you're not gonna see center shooting threes look at the middies though it's kind of okay I mean like I said I'm gonna be playing with people who know how to cook their defender up and if they need me to take a midi for them I got them but I'm pretty sure most of the time they're gonna be cooking the defender up anyway and uh, it's not gonna go like that but uh and the final thing about this archetype right here guys look at the badges Put back King on Hall of Fame, okay? What I was really hoping for was Hustle Rebounder or Hall of Fame, and I got it. Look at Hustle Rebounder. I was hoping they would at least give me Brick Wall, and I got it. It's not a Hall of Fame, it's on gold, but once you hit overall 99, all your badges turn Hall of Fame, so uh, it's even better. I have Bruiser. Bro, like this right here, this archetype is going to be so overpowered, and I'm telling you guys right now. And finally, I have Lob City Finisher. Bro, if you're playing with a really good guard and you do the pick and roll, all you have to do is throw an oop, and it's, oh my god, bro, just think about this for a second, man. So you have brick wall, and you have lob city finisher. That's crazy right there, bro. And you have putback king, just to, <laughs> bro, oh my god. Anyway, man, like I said, this is my archetype right here. I personally think it's <laughs> gonna be the best one. So I'll max my guy's hot out. I'll put him 7-3. His wingspan is almost maxed out, not all the way. Like I said, if I need to take a midi, I'll take a midi, but you know, he needs long arms to get rebounds and to block shots and to get steals and stuff like that. Now his weight, I didn't want to make him too heavy because on 2K17, my guy was 320 pounds. He was way too heavy and uh, he was too slow. So uh, I'm going to put my guy maybe around in the uh, 290s, 288. That way he's fast, he's elusive, he's mobile, and he can get around the court whenever he wants, really. 
his strength is still really good and his box out's really good remember he needs to get those rebounds and everything else is just your personal preference um i put left hand because i heard they can shoot better and uh that's pretty much it with the uh height build and all that okay so now your final outcome should look something like this a slashing rebounder 7'3 290 pounds and uh that's pretty much it now what i did for you guys i put a little bit of clips here for you so you can see how he actually runs around the court and stuff like that pay attention to the okay, pick and okay. rolls pay attention to the rebounds pay attention to the screens just pay attention to the defense the blocks just pay attention to everything look how i'm a dominant force all over the court man this is pretty much like a demigod but he just can't really dribble and he can't really shoot other than that he's a beast bro i'm just pushing people right out of my way getting my own rebounds controlling the floor controlling the paint my closeout defense is amazing like i said i already have really good defense plus the defense that they give me is just a bonus on the top man and one more thing before i shut up and let you guys watch all the highlights i cannot wait until i get all my badges in the hall of fame this guy is gonna be a freaking god he's gonna be godly as a lot of you may know i'm gonna be grinding for that first 99 overall so if you guys want to see me on that long journey to that first 99 overall make sure you guys subscribe to my second channel i'm gonna be streaming off of that channel this is still my main channel but my second channel is my live streaming channel so make sure you guys subscribe to that channel leave a like on this video i would love to see a lot of you guys in my streams because um the journey is going to be long but i'm going to get there and uh i'm going to leave a link in the description so guys subscribe to my second channel like i said anyway thank you so much for watching once again my name is david here dave and i am out of here peace yeah bitch Damn, I had to cook up that pussy. Shit. Okay. Dude, you me shit right now. Big man shit. How tall is he? Give me that. See that shit? He's 7'3. Ooh, no. too small, Joe. Man, I don't want to watch these niggas. That was cool. Eat that shit. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I uh -huh. want to know who you be calling. Who you be texting when you be all